Hi, Dana Fox from Athena Software, here to share some exciting news. The Government of Canada announced that the Community Foundations of Canada with the Canadian Urban Institute are open to receive and review your proposal for access to $31 million under the Healthy Communities Initiative. I attended the launch webinar February 9th and reviewed the applicant guide which is focused on the increased recognition of social and digital infrastructure that contributes to healthy community outcomes. The applicant guide makes it easy to understand if your organization can apply. The projects eligible for funding need to serve the public or a community disproportionately impacted by COVID-19 and fall within three healthy community initiative themes, one of them being community projects that use innovative data and technology solutions to connect people and support healthy communities. Community projects that use digital technologies and solutions to encourage citizen engagement use open data, online platforms, or physical digital devices for public event benefit. All budget items must be project related and expenses occur between April 1, 2020 and June 30th, 2022. Details on how anticipated expenses are outlined in the budget are included in the applicant guide. You need to demonstrate community engagement, plan continued engagement with the community to receive feedback on the project may also demonstrate the role of the community in delivering the project. Your team can also collaborate on your equity approach and principles for the project and how it relates to community outreach and feedback. All projects focusing on the theme of digital solutions and any project that handles public data should demonstrate best practices, digital design and responsible data management. Good news for you and your organization is that Athena Software meets the needs for inclusive design and data management. Athena can provide details on data management considerations, including who can collect the data, who can access the data, who can use the data, and what data is attributed to an individual. Of course, there's privacy or PEPIDA, and then there's minimum funding. Minimum $5,000, maximum funding is $250,000. All these budget items must be project related and incurred between April 1st, 2020 to June 30th, 2022. The government provided a budget template in Excel, and we created a proposal for the Canadian Healthy Community Initiative and integrated it with the budget template to help give you a head start on filling out that form. Let me know if you're interested in the proposal and budget, and we'll send you a copy of the forms to begin that process. The first round of funding opened February the 9th, 2021, and will close March the 9th, 2021, 5 p.m. Pacific time. So reviewing committees begin decision-making March the 10th, and all applicants will receive results by April the 30th, 2021. The second round of funding opens May the 14th, 2021, 9 o'clock, Atlantic time and it closes June the 25th 2021 at 5 p.m. Pacific time. Applicants that did not receive funding in round one can apply for funding in round two and review committees begin making decisions June the 26th. All applicants will receive results by August the 13th 2021. You'll need to check in with your region to see which project is in before you apply with the link to the map in the application guide. And you'll also need to identify the amount that you're applying for. Any project over 100,000 will be reviewed at the national level. Your application will be evaluated with many others in each community. Your application must meet the basic eligibility criteria, including project rationale, community engagement, outcomes, project implementation, and readiness, fulfilling all of the following criteria must be submitted by an eligible organization and provides documentation. It responds to needs arising from COVID-19. It creates and adapts public spaces or pro programming and services for public spaces in the public interest. It demonstrates consideration of and connections with the community. It serves the general public of a community disproportionately impacted by COVID-19. It falls within the Healthy Communities Initiative theme and it's submitted with a complete budget. It's requesting between $5,000 and $250,000, and it incurs expenses between April 1, 2020 to June the 30th, 2022. So please join me March the 5th at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for a hands-on webinar as we share ideas from communities that use Penelope to assist those most affected by COVID-19 and review those proposals for new and current agencies using Penelope. You can find the registration page on our Athena website. 
We hope to see you there. And if you have any questions before then, call or email. And until then, stay safe and we'll see you soon.